So, so I did a poll, yeah. and it's uh, what is the best reason for a person to become a Muslim? So I asked four questions, yeah. and so far 24 people have voted, yeah. and 17% uh, say so they can get female captives in war, and 21% is they don't have to love their enemy, 29% is war booty and female captives, and then 33% is robot women in paradise from Allah. Yeah, look, a uh, lot of propaganda going on. Yeah. Are you saying, uh, for example, let right. me give you a verse in the Bible, yeah? Okay. About uh, captives. Right, right. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, go on. Uh, I, I'm quite a place, come on. Yeah, over there. No, just... just. Because those, those guys are going to shout. Yeah, yeah. So, you said one of the reasons was that people can get uh, women captives. Yeah, yeah. Female captives. Okay. Now, in the every Christian Bible, mm -hmm. in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. in the book of Numbers, right. Chapter 31, mm -hmm. verse 32. Okay. It says, The plunder remaining from the spoils that the soldiers took. Mm -hmm. like, you know, there was fighting between armies. I know they already. The just, 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 just get on with it. I, okay. I, know, I know this one plenty. So if you ask me, let me explain. Yeah. That. No, but you have to explain. I already know exactly. I've read it so you many times. Know. Yeah. So you ask me, so let me. Uh, yeah, yeah, just explain. just keep, yeah, Okay. Yeah. So in the battle between two armies, mm -hmm. the Israelites won, okay? Yeah, yeah. And what happened? What did the soldiers achieve? That's what he's telling. Yeah, so yeah. in the book, in the Old Testament, book of Numbers, chapter 31, verse 32, in the Bible it says, the plunder remaining mm -hmm. from the spoils yeah. that the soldiers took mm -hmm. was 675,000 sheep. Mm -hmm. The next verse, verse 33, mm -hmm. 72,000 cattle. Yeah. Next verse, verse 34, it says 61,000 donkeys. Right. Next verse, verse 35, mm -hmm. it says, and, listen carefully, mm -hmm. and 32,000 women who had never slept with a man. Mm -hmm. Now, can you imagine, I mean, when they use the word about these women, mm -hmm. that in verse in uh, verse 35 yeah. of chapter 31 of the book of Numbers. Yeah. Verse 35 it says, and 32,000 women who had never slept with a man. Mm -hmm. Why use this word, 32,000 women who had never slept with a man? They could just have said 32,000 women who were virgins. Why did they have to go into such a deep thing? But, but you're talking about the, the, the original Hebrew, you know? No, that's um, the translation. No, 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 but they follow the Hebrew. Yeah. So you just got to see if yeah, the word... Yeah, the translation. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just checking to make sure that the, the word... There's no words like this in our Holy Quran. You understand? Mm -hmm. And here he's talking about, you know, uh, yeah. no respect for women. No, 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 the... Instead of saying 32,000 virgins, he's saying 32,000 women who had never slept with a man. Yeah, because the original Hebrew has the word bed in it. Okay. So that means you sleep in a bed, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, so, so you so, think it's right? No, they're translating the Hebrew. So even the, even the kids who read your Bible, right. when they see that, mm -hmm. you're teaching them a lesson, are you? Yeah, that I, 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 what's that lesson? That lesson that these 32,000 women mm -hmm. who were taken prisoner, yeah. 32,000 women who were taken prisoner, they were those who had never slept with a man. Okay. They could have just written 32,000 virgins. Simple. Yeah, yeah but it's the same, that's the same thing. You are a Muslim, right? Yeah, I'm also. Yeah. Muslim? No. no. Christian, yeah. away from so, Pakistan. Yeah. So, uh, but I don't see what the problem with that is. Because remember, well, it, don't you remember, don't you ever uh, use that nice word, 
like I said, why didn't they just write down 32,000 verses instead of writing down in your holy book? Uh -huh. 32,000 women who had never slept with a man. No. Why you have to uh, go so deep into that? That's so deep. Is that, so children, when they read that, you think they are going to find it funny, yeah? Yeah, their parents will just tell them what it means. Well, ah. What's the problem? Yeah. That's, that's what parents have to do, because you know, if you don't tell the children, about these things, they might go and... Oh, no, it's true. As they grow up, they'll understand. What type no, of no, language your is that in a holy book? No, your parents are supposed to teach you, so they just ask their parents. But no, it's, it's not insulting the women, is it? Well, parents are to... You learn that anyhow. If you're doing biology or if you're going to school, you learn it from a fellow student and so on. No, your parents are supposed to teach you. Not the father has to tell his son what they have to do when they get married or whatever. Yeah, you don't want to tell them when does they like... The, does the mother have to tell her daughters what they have to do when they grow up? Some do. They will learn. Well, come on, I don't but, 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 but anyway... Then you have some people who are hardly wearing anything. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, let's get back, let's, back, let's get back to the verse you bought. Yeah. So, all right, so you you bought here about the... No, no worse like this. Can I ask you something? Yeah, but you haven't finished. Sorry. All right. Okay, now I will ask you. He's all a right. younger gentleman. Yeah, yeah. And I see him... Uh, I see him a uh, lot... Yeah, yeah. Well, you're younger than me. I, okay, yeah. You're younger than him. So, mm. anyway, that's what I said. So, anyway, you know, this man's uh, Christian, he says that somebody wrote to him that they want to become Muslim so that they can have uh, women, you know... F female captives. Yeah, you know, female no, 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 captives. No, female captives. Well, they're fighting for they have female captives, okay? That's what I did. Uh, for your benefit, I gave him a verse from his Bible. Okay, now, let me uh, tell you, update you on this. Now, verse I gave him. Okay, the example I gave him from his Bible. And there's no... Like this example in the Bible is not found in our Holy Cross. Anyway, huh? in, the, sure? in, the, in the book of Numbers, I'll, I'll you the, in the Old Testament, chapter 31, verse 32, it says that there was nothing between two armies and the Jewish people they won. And uh, the Jewish uh, soldiers, they got displanted. So it says, in the book of Numbers, chapter 31, verse 32, it says the plunder remaining from the spoils that the soldiers took was 675,000 sheep. Next verse, verse 33, 72,000 cattle. Next verse, verse 34, 61,000 donkeys. Next verse, verse 35, listen to this cave. No, this one. Try uh, okay, this one was 35 and 32,000 women who had never slept with a man. Why not just write 32,000 women who were virgins? So, so I'm asking, when your, uh, let's say, eight year, nine year old Christian boy or a girl reads that and they read, oh, they took 32,000 women. Uh, prisoner who had never slept with a man. You know, so they're giving them a sort of sex lesson. Uh, I mean, that's about the only book. Why not but just write 32,000 virgins? Okay, but how would, you, okay. how would you explain to a child what the word virgin means? Pardon? Remember, if, you, if they use the word virgin, yeah. you didn't have to explain that to the child as well, isn't it? Okay, you can use the word who had never been married. Yeah, but then, then they're going to ask you, what do a man and woman do when they get married? So it, it just keeps going on and on. So, so, so the, what they, the statement they use there doesn't make any difference. Is that haya? That in your Bible it says, the soldiers took 32,000 women who had never slept with a man. Yeah. That could just write, the soldiers took 32,000 women who were virgins. Which is the same thing. You know, nice man with virgins. Rather than, they say there are women rights in the Bible, but they know 32,000 women taken prisoners who had never slept with a man. Yeah. In our holy Quran, you will never find an ayah like this. Okay. That the Muslim took 32,000 women, uh, you know, prisoners. What about Remember? your hadith? Come on, man. What about your hadith? We are not supposed to. So, so in your hadith. Okay, what? What? So, so in your hadith, what? your prophet never. In the Bible, your holy book. 
Yeah, but the hadiths are holy book. Huh? The hadiths are your holy book as well. Yeah, we believe in the hadiths. Yeah, you see. Well, yeah, but the uh, holy Quran is number one. Yeah, okay. but... That's the book of Allah SWT. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the saying of the Prophet. So as Muslims, we believe both. Yeah, the holy the, the, Quran there you go. and the hadiths. Right, yeah. so did your Prophet allow his men to take female captives? Yes, they were taking the female captives. Yes, yeah, so, so why are we... But the what, language what is... used is, okay, when the Muslims were attacked, mm -hmm. okay, so the Muslims, especially in the early days, they won a lot of battles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, they took a lot of prisoners. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. Soldiers, they were taken prisoners. Okay. Yeah. And of course, when in the old days, the army used to go, they used to take their sheep with the horses with the, their wives with the... Everything with them. You know, everything with them. You understand? Yeah. So, so, so the Muslim did a favor to them. Why? Because when these Christian soldiers lost, the Muslims just didn't leave their uh, women there and all the animals there like that, you know? They were looking after them. Right. You understand? Yeah. So in that sense, you know, they were uh, doing good service to the Christian, looking after the women. Right. You but, understand? Okay. But, not using the, uh, but, but let's get to the point of, well, the reason why I gave this poll. So if, if the Christians... Say, oh, all right, even though Christians shouldn't really fight, let's say the Christian, a Christian goes into the army and he's fighting. Yes. And so this is, for me, this is a hypothetical because I wouldn't go and fight. But even if a Christian goes with the army to fight, yeah. if the Christ, if the army takes some captives and there are women in the captives among Christians the... mostly kill, kill, no, kill. No, 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 let me finish. Yeah, they do. That's your history, man. What did France do when all their empire? What did yeah, they do? Yeah, but you're not letting me finish though, are you? Huh? In Algeria, Algeria, they say, oh, Algeria is a province of France. Can you imagine? And the Algerians had to fight really bravely to throw out the French in the Algerian uh, war of independence. Yeah, and they lost all the money as yeah. well. Lost around uh, one and a half million got killed there. Yeah, but the French would have, would have been... So why, why, why did your Christian just leave? Because the people wanted independence. You didn't know if France is a, is a secular state? It's not Christian? The majority are Christian in no, France. No, no, France isn't a Christian state. No, they they, they killed, they actually killed the Christian. Yes, sir. You didn't know that? Answer my question. Okay. Is it true that the majority in France, they are Christian? I don't know. At the moment, they are. In the no. United Kingdom, is it true? Still today, the majority are still Christian. Yeah, so they say. Yes. Yeah. Right. But it's the government I'm talking about. And it's, in Germany it, as well, is it true the majority are Christian? Yeah, they would be majority. Yes. Yeah. So those but, Christians in Germany, they kill more than six million Jews. What yeah? about the French government? Then? Pardon? The French government. Do they have any affiliation with the Christian faith? No, 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 do they have any, do they have any affiliation? Okay, you, okay, okay. Okay. Let me test you on this one. Yeah, but you didn't answer my question. Let me test you on this one. All right. I'm a Muslim, you're a Christian, yeah? Yeah. Do you remember the Spanish Inquisition? Yeah, I've read about it. Do you know what the Christians said? By the year 1609 or something. No, oh, for, this says? 1492. Pardon? 1492 is when the first. Uh, that was when Granada fell. Yeah. The last Muslim stronghold. Yeah. But I'm saying by the year 1609 or something, the Christian rulers in Spain, they decided. Anybody who want to remain in Spain by that time, they had to be a Christian. They had yeah, yeah, to be that. Christian. Yeah. Or they leave Spain. Yeah. And if they did not leave Spain, if they did not become Christian, they will be killed. And you know, mm -hmm. more than 500,000 Muslims were burnt alive. Oh, you okay. know why? In Spain, you know why? Mm -hmm. Because they were the poor people. They could not pay their money to leave that place. So they stayed there, but they didn't change from Islam to Christianity. So they 
What did they do? They tie them up on the poles, you know, high up and burn them alive. That's right. your Christianity. Okay, but are they true Christians according to the Bible for doing that? Pardon? Are they true Christians according to the Bible for what they did? Well, that's your Bible. You know, you're, that. You're, Oh, all right, so you can find... Don't you read your Bible? Okay, find, find me the burning point oh, of... Oh, I'll love, love, love it, you too. Yeah, yeah, come on, find me. Okay, love it, you too. Right. See a big difference between Islamic teaching and uh, Christian teaching, between the Holy Quranic teaching and the Biblical teaching. Mm. Okay. In every Christian Bible, mm. in the Old Testament, Okay. You believe in the Old Testament, yes? Yeah, but Christians believe in the New Testament. Pardon? It has to be in the New Testament because they're Christians, remember? Do you, in your Christian Bible, do you have the Old Testament? Yes, I believe right. what it says. Right, Yeah. So, is your Bible holy from the beginning to the end? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So, is the Old Testament in your Bible? Yes. Uh, right, yeah. right, Go on. right. So, what's in your Bible? Is yeah. it holy? Not all of it. Not all of it. No, because some parts there's like incest in there. Are so you saying some parts of your Bible is not holy? It's got incest in there, so that's not holy. No, but tell me, is your Bible a holy book? Yeah, but do you hear what I said? There are, there's, there's incest written. Yeah, but you're should stop. <laughs> she seeks attention. Oh, that woman is crazy. You know. but, 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 okay. Yeah, that's uh, no, no, she come back. She's gonna go. <laughs> no, she's she's giving up. The ball practice. Okay, okay. Yeah. Go on. In every Christian Bible, mm. in the first book of Samuel. <laughs> Chapter 15, right. verse 3, mm. in the Bible it says, mm. the Lord said, time goes so quick. the Lord said, by the way, when in the Bible it says, the Lord God said, yeah. is this what your God Jesus is saying? No, the Father. Father? Yeah. Father, you say, Jesus is God. There's a son. I already told you, I told you this like a hundred times, man. So Jesus is a small God. No, he's a son of God. No, was, he a, was Jesus God? Son of God. So Jesus was not God. He was a son. You, you have to understand. But your time. It's your guy's fault, you know. Excuse if, me. If your guys ignored her, it wouldn't be a problem. No, no. You are right. not telling her truth. That woman goes around the Muslims are debating yeah. Yeah. around the Muslim and she starts insulting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just our problem moments all over. So you think we Muslims just stand there? We have to speak. Oh, yeah. So what so, we do, we say, Takbir Allah. Yeah. All we are saying, Allah Subhanahu is the greatest. All right, so when Siraj insults oh. insults Jesus, oh, come on. do we Christians no, go we can't for the... No, Jesus. No, Siraj does. Well, I don't know what he says. Yeah. But how but do I know what you are saying is true? Anyway, anyway let's go to your Bible. It's on the video. Let's go to your Bible. Mm. Okay. And see how peaceful your Bible is. It's not peaceful. In the in the he, he said it's not peaceful. Okay. In the Christian Bible, mm -hmm. in the first book of Samuel, mm -hmm. chapter 15, mm -hmm. verse 3. Right. In the Bible it says, God said, mm -hmm. Lord said, now go attack the Amanika. That's mm -hmm. a tribe. Am Amalekites. Now go attack the Amalekites and totally destroy all that belongs to them. Mm -hmm. In the Bible it says, do not spare them. Put to death men and women, children and infants, cattle and sheep, camels and donkeys. So in the, in the Christian Holy Bible, it says, kill all the men, kill all the women, 
kill all the children, kill all the babies. It says with the edge of the sword. Kill, oh no, kill you, all the babies, miss, kill, miss, kill miss, all the cattle, you miss, now the sword. Kill all the sheep, kill all the camels, kill all the donkeys. Yeah. What did the donkey do? You kill them. Why? Why kill the donkeys, man? You won't have a donkey to ride on. Without that, no Rolls Royce, no Jaguar, no car. So people ride on camels. Bible says kill all the camels. So if you kill all the camels, you can't go uh, anywhere, can you? In the Bible it says kill all the donkeys. If you kill all the donkeys, you mm. don't have a camel. Why do you have a donkey? Now, even donkey is dead, camel is dead. You have to walk. You can't ride on anything. But in our Holy Quran, there is no ayah, no verse in our Holy Quran where it says kill all the men, kill all the women, kill all the children, kill all the babies, kill all the sheep, kill all the cattle, kill all the camels, kill all the donkeys. Yeah, you know uh, why? Uh, why? Islam is peace. Uh, no. Where does it say you lie? It's where does it say? You tell me where it says. I know the Holy Quran. Tell me which verse where it says. Nine five. Okay, are you a Christian? Oh, are you a Christian? I'm asking you. You put your, we are talking. You put your nose and you came right next to me. Okay, because you are Islamophobic. Yeah, you mind your business. Okay, behave yourself. Touch you. Yeah, you keep your okay, I'll answer your question. Okay? He said chapter 9, verse 5. I'll get it out. Okay, but behave yourself. Okay, chapter 9, that's uh, Surah at tawbah mm -hmm. Are you a Christian? Are you? I'm a Muslim, who are you? Muslim. He's scared. He don't want to talk. I'm a Muslim. Who are you? Who am I speaking with? Okay, why are you speaking to me then? <laughs> yeah, so you are here. Okay, why do you speak? Why don't you say who you are? So why do you want to know what I am? Okay, you want to hide. Stay hiding. Stay hiding. What number? Uh, chapter 9, verse 5. I'm going to read it up. Okay, I'll read it. Okay. It is just as when your Lord brought you out of your home for the battle of Badr in truth, while indeed a party among you believers were unwilling. Where does it say kill in this verse? I'm reading 9.5. Where does it say kill? Again I will read. No, not, not, nine, nine, not 95, 9 verse 5. So, okay, ta Tauber, nine, nine, Tauber. Nine, 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 nine. I had eight. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Tauber. 9.5. Okay. No, it's my mistake. I was reading 8.5. Okay, okay. 9.5 Surah Toba. And when the inviolable months, the holy months have passed, then kill the politics wherever you find them. So, and capture them, and besiege them, and sit in wait for them at every place of ambush. But, now listen carefully, but if they should repent, establish prayer and give zakat, let them go on their way. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. Okay, so when you are fighting, there is a group who is uh, fighting against the Muslims, who is doing propaganda against Muslims, we can fight them, we can attack them. Like in battles, for example, it says you kill. have countries... It says kill. Yes, kill in battle. It's kill. No, it says kill, not fight. Okay. Kill. How many, how many did the Nazis, how many Jews did they kill? More than six million? But well, what was the message they at the end of it? Did you hear it? What the message uh, was? Oh, no, no, that I yeah. don't want to fight. Let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah, well, but yeah, you want to finish. Is the Quran forever? Pardon? Is the Quran forever? The only Quran is the book of truth is forever. From now to yeah. end, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, now you tell me, are you a Christian? 
now you tell me, are you a Christian? Okay, you hide somewhere. Why don't you... What was that? What verse was that? 9-5? I'm a Muslim. Uncle, uncle, can I just follow the front? But he does have a good point though, eh? He doesn't say fight, he says kill. Yeah, when you fight, no. and they come to fight with you. He doesn't say that. He says kill, that's fine, right? Yeah. yeah. But did, you, did you listen to what he said? Yeah, no. Yeah. What, does it, what does it end in the end? What does it end with? He said, but if they should repent, mm -hmm. right? establish prayer and give zakah, let them go on the way. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiven and most merciful. Do, 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 do you know what that means? Yeah, do you, I know what it means. Do you know what it means? Yeah, okay. it means if they, should, the context, that's what I'm if they should repent, establish prayer and give zakah, which means they have to become Muslim. That's what they talk about the Munafiqin. That's what it means. For, okay. So that's false conversion. Yeah, now you're... Yeah, now no, you're it's what he says. It says okay. false conversion. So either you kill them... Okay. you made double point. Now you're bringing another No, it's the, same, it's the same yeah. verse. Okay. 2190. Oh, so you want to stay with 9-5? What do you want to... You bought I'm not... Oh, no, he bought 9-5. I'm right Yeah, okay, all right. I'm right here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, go on. Now, he explained to you, I'm explaining, but you don't understand. Because right. you believe a man is God, that's why you don't realize. No, okay. so, so, son of now God. Now, I'll read to you. Pardon? Son of God. So, Jesus wasn't God. Son is son. You have to keep remembering. Answer my question. Mm -hmm. He's a son do of God. Do you believe God. Jesus was son of God? Or do you believe Jesus was God? No. Or, or both? No, he's a son with attributes of the father. So he's not God. Yeah, but you you don't understand it. So he's not God. No, you don't understand. Don't answer. Why are you scared? Because he's got the attributes of the father. Okay, listen. There are Christians like Unitarian Christians. Mm. They, we have Unitarian churches even in this country. Yeah. The Unitarian Christians believe Jesus is Son of God, but He's not God. So I am asking you, there are these Christians here that, oh, Jesus is Son of God, oh, Jesus is God. So I am hmm. asking you, hmm. are you that Christian who says that Jesus is Son of God and also Jesus is God? Are you? No, no, He's Son of God. So He's not God. He's Son of God and God. No, but you see, there's a problem there, is that he has the attributes of, of the Father, yeah, the attributes of the father, father. But, but he doesn't have the status. If he has the attributes of the Father, wouldn't that make him, that makes him God? But he doesn't, have, but he doesn't have the father. status. The status is equivalent. So, as a Trinitarian, that means you can't call him God then? No, Trini no Trinitarians can't, but... Are you a Trinitarian? So? No, no. Oh, you're not Trinitarian? No. You're not Trinitarian. Okay, so okay. I don't believe he has the same okay. status you... as the Father. So he's the son of God, then don't think. Yeah. Okay, let me, let me give you another verse. Uncle, he's not Trinitarian. Yeah, I understand, by the way, now okay. he's big and clear. But that means the Christians are confused. Why? Ask no. any Muslim in the world who is God Almighty, he or she will tell you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, it's Islam. Okay, It's Allah. Al, Al means, Al Allah. is an Arabic, Allah. separate Arabic word. Okay, listen. Allah is God Almighty. Okay. No, it's Allah. It's Allah. Ask some Christian what is No, it's Allah. No, Allah. L-A-H. Because oh, Al is an Arabic word, isn't it? Okay, let me read to you. Yeah, it is. Hey, let me read you to know. you. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Al is a separate Arabic word, but I, you know that already. Before I leave you, let me read to you another word. In right. our Holy Quran. Yeah. In our Holy Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, the mm. cow, Surah mm. chapter number 2, Ayah verse number 190, mm. 190. Allah says, fight in the way of Allah. Mm. Those who fight against you, mm. okay, who to fight? Allah says, fight in the way of Allah. Mm. Those who fight against you, but do not transgress. But do not transgress. Mm. Do not go over the limit. Why? In Arabic, Allah says, in Allah la yuhibbul muhtadir. In English, Allah says, Surely Allah does not love those who transgress. Surely Allah does not love those who go over the limit. What, what is the limit? Such a beautiful ayah. Can, can you explain what the limit is? What, the limit? what is it, the limit? He's telling you, if they fight against you, mm. self-defense is no offense. You fight back. Otherwise, your country will be taken over or your area will be taken over, or you will be killed. Defend yourself, okay? So, so, so there's a saying, self-defense is no offense, right? So, right? And then it says, but do not go over the land. If, for example, mm. they uh, seek peace, they want peace, go for it. 
you are not allowed to go over there. For example, they are fighting against you. They start the fight, but then they say, okay, let's uh, sit down. Let's have peace. Give peace a chance. What about the next verse? Uh, one, nine, one. Okay. And kill them. Mm. There you go. Yes. All right. In uh, and hey, don't forget your uh, first crusade, second crusade, no, you third finished. crusade, okay. fourth crusade, fifth crusade, mm. sixth crusade, seventh crusade, eighth crusade, ninth crusade, tenth crusade, okay. and you got beaten up badly. You didn't send any other crusades after that. Anyway, mm. okay. Next verse. I'm not scared. I read it. Okay. It says. That's a. Uh, Still, uh, Surah chapter number 2 al-Baqarah, mm. ayah verse number 191, the next verse. Mm. Allah says, And kill them in battle. It doesn't say that. Well, they are fighting. That's not Arab. Their battle isn't in there. Okay, Arab. listen. My father was a Second World War soldier. Mm. He was trained by the Christian British to fight. And they took him in the battlefields to fight. Okay. Okay. So that's you Christians. Alright. Okay, so why, why, hey, hey. And then, okay, now listen. And kill them in battle wherever you overtake them. And expel them. Yes, we are back on two. I have one night. I'm going to leave now after the day. Leave it. Okay. Okay, listen. I read the whole words, I leave it to my young Muslim there because I'm going to speak with someone else. Right. Okay. Surah Al Baqarah, the cow, Surah chapter number 2, ayah verse number 191. Mm. You told me to read it. I'm yeah. not scared, I'm reading it. Mm. My holy Quran. And I said, and kill them mm. in battle yeah. wherever you overtake them and expel them from wherever they have expelled you. And Fitna is worse than killing and do not fight them at Al Masjid Al Haram until they fight you there. Mm. So, what is he saying? Do not fight them around Masjid Al Haram unless they fight you there. Uh, until? Yeah, unless somebody attacks you, mm. then you fight back. Okay. Self defense is no offense. Right. You understand? Mm. And what you Christians have been doing, you brought hundreds of thousands of Indian soldiers. At that time, I'm Pakistani. At that time, there was no Pakistan. So my father and uncles were, and their uncles were in the British Army. They brought them over to fight for the Christians, okay. against the Christians, the Nazis. All right? And they trained them with weapons to use those weapons. And when these Muslim soldiers used weapons, why? They were ordered to. By who? By the Christians. And did you know, these Muslims brought over more than 140, 140, more than 140,000 Indian soldiers who were Muslim were killed during First World War, during Second World War, fighting for you Christians. Indian soldiers who were Muslims? Huh? Indian soldiers who were Muslims? Well, don't you know anything? In yeah, India but, but, today... But, 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 the, but the Hindus, Hindus are in the majorities. I don't know, I, that I you can, let me tell you. Okay. In India today, yeah. it is the most populated country in the world. Yeah. Before it used to be China. Mm. But since China established the one baby policy, their population came down, down, down. So what happened? India, the Indians there, they don't want to have this sort of same policy like China. Mm. You know? So the Indian population kept rising. So today, you have more than one billion Hindus in India. Right. And you have more than 200 million Muslims in India, yeah. which is the biggest minority in the world. So, so most you understand? So most of the soldiers would be Hindu. And listen, listen, my father, who was a Second World War soldier, was an Indian soldier. Right. Because at that time, no Pakistan. When Pakistan came into being, my father went into the Pakistan army. And let me tell you, you will never have heard of it. You as well. In the first fighting between the Pakistan army and Indian army, my father and uncles 
and there are guys who used to be Indian Army soldiers in the Second World War. They came in the Pakistan Army and they fought against their fellow Indian soldiers and they used to fight together in Second World War. You know what my father used to tell me? They fought in Kashmir. Okay? And that's when you go to Azad Kashmir, occupied Kashmir. Okay. Now, when my father was fighting in Kashmir, my father used to tell me, when the, they used to fight each other, you know, shell each other, bomb each other, after the fighting stopped, the soldiers used to take the names from the, oh, so and so, are you still alive? Oh, so and so, why? Because they used to be in the same units. They used to be in the same, you know, but now, because they are in different countries, we are fighting each other, they knew each other. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Now, for the first time, you heard that, okay? Okay, now, but, I, but you didn't finish the verse. Pardon? You didn't finish the verse? I'm finished the verse. No, 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 there's a little bit at the end. I told you, in no, the no, pattern, no, it says, when yeah. you are fighting them, mm -hmm. you can kill them. Because when you are fighting in a battle or a war, if what you number? don't kill them, mm -hmm. they will kill you. Yes? This is, but if, right. if they fight you, then kill them. That's what he says. So what you expect? Okay. No, so there's the other fight. The okay, this is. Hey, use your brain. Use your brain. Yeah, but it doesn't if say. They, exactly, you fight hey, back. If they, if they fight, fight you, mm. they fight you. Of course, if they fight, fight you. If someone mm. comes up to me, trying to fight me, I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah, yeah find me. Just find me. Turn down the chair. I'm a Christian. I'm not gonna do that. I can offend what your mother. It's, it's, it's a very. Can offend yeah, your mother. Yeah. You can turn down the chair. But but, 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 but no, it's evil with evil. That's why they different. He's saying he's. But he's saying it's a problem. You don't want them to fight back. Muslims should just say, just no, let them kill no, us. No, 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 that's, okay, that's, 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 hey, not, hey, listen, that's not what the problem is. Hey, yeah, the problem? It, it says, listen. but if they fight you, then kill them. Yeah, you yeah. fight them. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's exactly no, what I'm that, That's a punishment. Otherwise, then kill What do you want them to do? Yeah, no, 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 if you want to fight me right now, say, look, I'm going to threaten you, you're a Muslim. Yeah. Got, you got a knife, I'm going to say, okay, I'm a Muslim, go and kill me. Yeah, what but, am I going to do? Of course I'm going to I'm going to defend myself. Israelites will return to take down Islam.